So this week's one quest strategy is we're going to be looking at the Morote Uki, and in particular a transition from Pianyonda where we turn just off to the side to make Morote Uki. So we've just done our, our kick two punches and we wheel this around like this. And the reason why we might want to wheel it around like that, what we're going to do is we're going to take the example that we've been having words and there's been an upper arm grab. And this is quite common form of attack. You've got to imagine the situation. If been here, I go to leave, and he's pulling me back in. My wrist is a long way down. Reaching for my wrist is a long way down. There are easy ways out of this, but now we're back to square and fighting again. If I can use the thing that he's given me to take control of him, then I can, for a moment or two, send that other weapon away, which then means that I can bring this down, and then we can put there to strike, or just to roll them over your leg, depending on what you require to do. So there's levels of intensity that you can change. You can either make it a big bash, or you can turn it into a throw if that's what you want to do. So our Marotte Yuki this week has gone from this kind of position, and we've wheeled it in and brought it back out. And that's the kind of turn that we're looking at. So up here, this set the wrist, crash through here, stepping, and it could be the step here, but stepping in here seems to make that third point of contact that we're interested in, and then bringing that up that way. Obviously that does send his body back, meaning that that is now lined up to strike, but if you hit him right, then he's not going to do that yet. So our Marotte UP application, um, continuing on our theme of looking a little bit of the end.